Okay, back to Layers of Fear. I'm gonna do the DLC story inheritance. See how that goes. When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Sickness, insanity, and death were the angels that surrounded my cradle, and they have followed me throughout my life. I just have to turn on the flashlight. Oh. Okay. Say the same house. Except it's already a mess this time. <laughs> okay, that's a great start. Oh, oh, reeks in here. Okay, so I guess I'm playing as the daughter this time instead of the guy. That's kind of cool. Oh. What? That dog doesn't shut up. What? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, I'm like a uh, baby. All right. You can let him out for now. I think. This is a mess. Yeah. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. What the hell are you doing in there? Get out! Hmm. Yeah. I can see where this is going. from him. No, that's not how it went. Maybe play it how I, I played told it. You never to come down here. I just bang on it. It works. Hmm. I'm afraid to go into his art room because that's usually where we're supposed to go. I don't know if that applies with her though. I guess it doesn't. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight. Every day when it comes through the window. What kind of question is that?
Oh, I choose between being a child or an adult. Is that what's going on? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season. Where they are wiser, have some stories to tell. What, fall? What the heck? Alright, so I could choose between the crayon paint. This seems like a symbolic choice. But it might it might not be. the paint good enough by itself? Oh. Wait. Blue or green? Is that what? Just go with the green one. Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color. Yeah. That won't make it boring or predictable. <laughs> Shut up. More green. Always. <laughs> yeah, some more green. Brilliant. Let's add some more of the same oh. color. That won't make it boring or okay. predictable. Where did I find that other color? Blue. Okay. So I guess blue for the sky and then we're gonna crayon in a sun or something. Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser. Just like you. Okay. No, put that down. <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think there's any other choice, man. Is there? <laughs> is there? Oh. There we go. Okay. Cool. That got me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it. Alright, I put it down. Jeez. Oh, yes, the autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Uh. <laughs> I like how it keeps giving me the crayon choices. No deck. How about yellow? Which part of dark skies did you not understand? <laughs> the part where you tell me what to do. You don't want, you're not going to put yellow? Alright. What the heck? 
Oh. I can't reach it. Supposed to like bridge it with this? Yeah. What the fuck is all that noise? Stop it. Ugh. Oh man. Stop that. That's obnoxious. happens if you do all the crayons <laughs> you just ignore them I bet he would just say no and like just tell you to go get the actual paint it's probably not like a, a choice really but there might be You see, in the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. Yeah, well, you know, I brought you yellow paint before. You douche. I can't tell if the dog is like a real creature or not. It just keeps phasing in and out. Is that the yellow? No. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Always use green when it's an option. You're not listening. There's some soggy grass going to help here. <laughs> we need to make it more. You're a soggy grass. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that was just that was the same thing. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was there for. Dad, the house is on fire. You made too many giant trees. Oh my god, what? Pain. Oh, fucking hell. That noise is obnoxious. Dad. The house. What the hell? Where am, I, where am I going? <laughs> I 
Am I supposed to walk through the fire trees? Is that what... Is that what's happening? It seemed like the thing to not do. Hello, fire trees! Oh. Okay then. That's right! The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally. Marvelous, isn't it? I, I don't know think it seems so. It's like a tragedy. But a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. I don't know about that. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. Yeah. I would say, I would say so. That's a good DLC though. They really captured the you know, the original idea uh, what's wrong with this thing? in a different way. This is his room. Maybe her room is supposed to be the final stop for this. Hiding in the closet while dad yells. Yeah. I don't got a music. Right, we never figured out what was behind that. The whole time, the other time. Baby face, how you doing? Yeah, you're still there. Oh. Where am I now? Everything looks weird. Hello? Where even is this? Hello? Alright. Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here. Try for yourself. What? Oh. No, no, that, that's not quite right. That's what it looks like according to this page. <sighs> Still not quite there. <laughs> Mom, I'm pretty sure that this was what it's telling me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play the piano. It's in there. The, the world would never know. Hey, Dad, listen. You know what? I have an idea. Go get your crayons. Oh, you want me to draw over the walls like that other time? <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, where are my crayons? In here. No. Mom. I don't know where they are. Oh. 
Okay, cool. Now what? Okay. Oh! If only I was slightly taller. Oh, there we go. No? Can't you see the colors? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's what it says, Mom. Unless you want me to do it backwards. Okay, I guess we're doing it backwards then. Well, shit, man. I don't know what they wanted from me. Because <laughs> I did the square first, and so she was like, no. That's not how doors work. What did you do in here, Dad? You didn't like me playing the piano, so you threw everything in the room all over the floor. Great job. Right in there. Can't though. I don't know where we are. This doesn't look like any part of the actual house. Oh, great, it's those again. Except I'm like their size now, so that's going to be bad. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? I found the treasure! Teddy bear treasure. Oh. What time is it? Um... Crying, probably. Considering that <laughs> four of them are painting, two of them are crying and sleeping and hiding. Well, it's not going off of his time. I don't see a uh, clock anywhere. This is much creepier, or much scarier than the original. What's happening? Is that moving? No. Hello? Okay. Oh.
Oh. Let's get out of here, boys. Oh, boy. What the heck? Ow! This again? How many times do I have to tell you to keep this shit out of the hallway? Oh, that's right, cry! Seems like everyone's solution to everything in this house. Well... See, this is a reoccurring problem in this game. Can't see a shit. Crappy material is that table made out of <laughs> that that could do that. A solid gold chandelier slamming through a plywood desk. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. Mom. Oh, the dog.
Did I come from here? I don't know anymore. I got lost. Did I come from this way? Yeah. Whoops. That's really weird. Was I supposed to do something with the dog picture? Huh? Back up then, I guess. I feel like I've missed something. <laughs> I definitely... I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, maybe it was. I guess it was. Oh, weird. Oh, princess. Don't sneak up on me like that. Especially when I'm working. So, what do you think? Oh, you like it? Well, that makes one of us. Wow. So judgmental, Dad. Where'd I go? Oh. Oh, there's the um the picture how it was originally. What <laughs> the doorknob was on the other side for a second. That was weird. Um It's not a key anywhere. What? Okay.
birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. You should, didn't even should not bother to give her a name. What? Uh, okay, creepy. Is there a key? I need a key. No, I didn't say apples. I said key. Yeah, this seems normal. Not not dangerous at all. Now what? Can I, oh, I can go up that. I didn't think that I could. I'm getting old there. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what? You said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. Whoops. Whoops. What, what the hell? <laughs> Ow! Stop smacking me with shit. Forcing the camera to be so wobbly, I'm gonna fall down just because of that. This one's gonna be perfect. It has to be. What are you doing? All of you. <laughs> what? Not, not now, princess. Go play with your dolls or your crayons. Daddy's very busy. <laughs> okay. Ah yes, I grow like the tall redwood cabins, patio, I don't know, oh what, alright, whoa, <laughs> what is going on, okay, Why do you keep throwing me through the floor? It's not necessary. Oh. Okay. What was the deal with the dog? Did he like train the dog to be aggressive? What the aggressive? hell did you do? Oh, you didn't mean to. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Yeah. Come on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and smash them one Damn. by one. And keep at it. Maybe you'll finally get good at something. Oh, man. Come on, man. Jeez. Why did you leave your booze laying out anyway?
don't know if that was another choice between like adult or child or whatever. I haven't figured that out yet. Need a wheel. Can't scare me with just janky camera movements. It doesn't work. I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. Hey, right, cat, you could have used this this lid. There you go. Yeah, no, it's kind of weird. Okay. Well, you know, we tried. What, is there a real wheel in here? Oh. I don't think I can get that. I mean, what do you want me to do? Can I reach it? Oh, ah ha ha! Cool. Champion. Here you go. Yeah. Darkness. I see. You're sick. You're insane. You're not thinking straight. You're not thinking straight. You're right. I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. What was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me. Well, excuse me if I've been too busy Whoa. working my ass off trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. You, you call that work? You, you lock yourself in there for hours, days. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Well. Hmm. That was cute. Too bad they ruined the cuteness with all that other stuff. Hmm. All right. Well, can follow. Can't follow. All right. Bye, cat. Oh, what in the heck? What? That's all right, honey. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. 
Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. Hmm. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. Baby face. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. I'm glad I remembered that. They put this in the same place that used to have baby face thing. I can't fucking read that. Oh, good. I, grasping at the last remains of my sanity, declares to be my last will till a testament. Who I deem all my previous will is just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. My agent, Thomas Cadwell, I bestow the hellish vermin and infest my home, praying that <laughs> they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry, just like he did to me. Then I polish a lime brickstone, bequeath the flames that consumed the love of my life, and hope that they will devour him along with the wretched whore and squealing bastard he calls his family. Wow. So I will hear pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away so he could feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you as I always have. Hey, Pixie. That's weird. Hmm. Man, yeah, he was just really messed up. Hey, right, well, now it's my room. Oh. Oh. This is All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Okay. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw no. something moving in the corner. No. And yet, she did not dare to move. For she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped the air. Its perky ears. <coughs> yeah, I'm listening. Monster sniffed at the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. Uh -huh. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Uh -huh. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. Her hand was near, just outside of view. But our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt, Don't fail me now, princess. Yeah, well, you're the one that jerked the she camera over there. A sudden urge to run away, but 
fought it with all her will. Uh -huh. For she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. Uh -huh. There. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. What? Face. Why is she still... scared? Because of you. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. Uh-huh. Sorry for what? It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Huh. Okay. Well, we've been through all the rooms. Lies, lies, lies. No rats. Okay. Some on the back. No. Nope. Well, the only one we haven't gone into is the locked one. Oh. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? We found that. What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Oh no, baby face. <laughs> baby face survives. Oh. Hmm. Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But why pink? What? I'm not sure I understood the last lines of that. What? There you go. That one was a lot shorter, but I like it. Hmm.
All right. Well, that was layers of fear, the whole thing. What would have happened if you picked the pink pant? That's true, there was pink on that. You, do you, I guess you didn't have the DLC. I don't have the DLC in the Steam version. I only have it in the this Epic one. So we could try different things. I might research it first just to see if there's actual choice consequences, though. <laughs> 